Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we will be talking about Enhanced Formula Bar in Power Apps. In Formula Bar, Microsoft announced some new updates. Now let's talk about those updates in detail over here. Now here I have opened one of my Power Apps. Earlier what happened here is Whenever we are creating our power apps for enhanced formula bar, we need to activate one preview feature. Now that thing has been removed and now this enhanced formula bar or new formula bar is generally available. Now let me talk about its feature in detail over here. So first of all, you can see that this is our formula bar and here there are different actions and properties. Earlier what happened here is all the properties are added as ascending order on alphabetical manner. Now here you can see that they have added different group by things over here. So let's say for an example I am selecting this button and over here whatever the property that button supports it is showing me over here like whichever actions that are supported, whichever data types that are supported and design properties as well. Earlier all the things are mixed up so we are not aware about which type of action is supported by that control. Now we have that flexibility and this enhanced our experience in terms of development perspective. Right? So this is one more important update. Now second thing is that let's say for an example I am clicking on this button and here I have added one navigate code over here. One more thing you should observe that this arrow icon has been added just after this formula bar. So you just need to click on that and it will enhance that. One scroll bar is also been added over here on this particular formula bar. Also on the downside you can see that expand and collapse bar is also being provided. So once you click on collapse formula bar it will collapse and once you click on expand it will expand. So this is also improved the one more important property. Now let's say for an example let me just open up some code. So let me click on this button and let me open up the disable property code that I have added over here. So on display mode I have added one if condition right. So I just need to click on arrow and it has opened this particular formula bar. Now I just collapse this thing and here you can see that one if formula has been added. Now earlier what happened here is when we need to press enter we need to use either shift enter or alt enter. Now when you click on enter over here in the formula bar it will automatically add one new line over here for you. So this one more enhancement by pressing on enter it will add automatically one new line over here in your formula bar. Second more important thing earlier what happened here is when you press tab key it is automatically showing suggestion to you. That frustrate us many times because we wanted to actually apply tab key on our formula bar. Now when you press tab you can see that specific tabs has been added in your formula bar. And when you start typing any character it will start showing you the suggestion over here to you. Right. So this is how few enhancement has been added to new formula bar. Hope this enhancement helps to you. So I have talked about three enhancement. First is this particular grouping for different actions and properties. Second thing is that enter key. Third one is tab key and fourth one is this scroll bar as well as this arrow icon. Right. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any question you can add your question in the comment section. If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Stay connected with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, WhatsApp and Instagram. Also I am uploading new video related Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Teams and SharePoint every day on my channel. So do subscribe and never miss any updates from my channel. If you are interested for Instagram learning related power platform here is an insta icon click on that it will redirecting you to my Instagram homepage. Over here follow me and learn different concept on power platform. Here I am uploading different posts, different reels and different IGTV videos on Instagram. So show your love by following me on Instagram. 
Also, if you are interested for any consultancy, click on this website link and fill the form. So I will reach out to you for any consultancy help over there. Also, if you are interested in different power platform related podcast, click on this link. It will redirecting you to my podcast homepage. From here, you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and much more. Also, if you are interested for different short video related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Thruvin. Click on that; it will redirecting you to my new channel. Here, you can learn different short video related power platform. Subscribe that channel and show your love over there as well. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.